in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. Of course, I'm the gatekeeper of this internet ministry known as the mighty, 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 mm, Angel Snub Nub Seven, your brother, and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. Before I begin our little talk, I would first like to inform uh, those who follow this ministry that I will continue to post my videos on YouTube, but I am concentrating on my channel at dailymotion.com. So if you really would like to follow my words or follow this ministry uninterrupted so far, because we don't know what might happen in the future, but so far, dailymotion.com is a peaceful, wonderful place, void of these faceless, disrespectful, cowardly trolls. And they know it. So I encourage all black channels, all black people, go to dailymotion.com and subscribe to Angel Snub Nub 7 or make Angel Snub Nub 7 place me on your favorites. You can still communicate and you can comment and do many of the things that we do on YouTube, except you don't have the drama, the infantile foolishness that comes with YouTube. So please, 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 pretty please, place me on your favorites, subscribe to me, join me on Angel Snub Nub 7 at Daily Motion. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your viewership. Thank you so much for giving this little person who is a nobody a chance to speak his mind and offer his opinion. Whether you agree or disagree, I would like to send a shout out very quickly to my student and minister of, of action, Brother Andre Edmund 69. Send a shout out to Brother David Brayboy. Send a shout out to my sister Raven Masterson. Send a shout out to my sister Miss Maxie 74, Alberta Parish. Send a shout out to Big Boss Calvin. Send a shout out to Sister Brenda Kearney and Brother Larry Hill. Send a shout out to my nephew who also checks out my video. And to all of those who I stay in communication with, send a shout out to my brother Jerome Putman there in, in Europe. And so many of you, I don't mean to miss anybody. It's just so many of you. Brother Philip, The Advice Show. So many of you. I just decided to make this video. Maybe I should have just put the names on paper. But uh, thank you so much for your support. Thank you, Brother Sidney. Brother Sidney, of course, you know, he made that wonderful uh, poster for me. Brother uh, African Supremacy, King Noble. Oh, I could go on and on. But you know, time is a fleeting thing, and I want to make this point very quickly. But again, above all, join me on Daily Motion. Brothers and sisters, friends and family, associates, even enemies, I have shared this media, this space, 
with you for probably close now to five years. And within the five years, those who follow and have been with me, who studied my words, you know that I have never, ever, never, ever said that I was always right. Now, I do say that I am the messenger of real truth. I will say that. But that real truth is based upon our limited knowledge. We live in deception. As soon as we are born, regardless of your color, regardless of your uh, gender, regardless of your sexual orientation, regardless to who you are living in this period of time, we are born into a world of lies, deception, and falsehoods. So what could be true today may not be true tomorrow. So your leaders, your politicians, your religious teachers, whomever, anybody, your mother or your father, if they come to you and say that they carry truth, which at this, at that particular time could be true. But if they never claim that they could be in error, then you should have a problem with them. I will never tell you that I am void or I am exempt from being in error. But I am trying to find the best truth that is real as possible. And usually, those who carry truth, it is a hurting and painful thing because many of us believe that we have truth. Many of us are comfortable with living in lies. We are comfortable living in rape. We are comfortable living in murder. We are comfortable living in treachery, deceit, and malice, and anarchy. We have become comfortable living in this world that religion says that God wants to destroy, but we are comfortable in it and we lie to our people. We lie to those who are under the sound of our voice when we tell them that we are incapable of error because if you are incapable of error, then you are perfect. I don't care what you teach. I don't care who you are. You are a liar to say that you are never in error. In other words, you're saying that you're perfect. But many of these believe they are guided by God or some spiritual force which makes them incapable of being in error. If you are perfect, if you are incapable of error, then why must you believe? If you believe in something, then there's a possibility of error. So how can you claim, or how can you make the claim, or how can you never say, I could be wrong? So from every house of religion, from every political uh, podium, all should be all should be truthful with the masses of the people and tell them I could be wrong, but they come to you like it is impossible. And everybody can be wrong. So you should be wary and you should watch those who never make a claim that they can't be wrong.
I base my opinion on the gathering of the best facts that I can come up with. I base my opinion on common sense. I base my opinion on what is logical. I base my opinion on my own self, listen, self research. I base my opinion on reasoning and what is rational. If something don't make sense, chances are it's not true. The deceiver and those who don't want to admit they are capable of error don't like being around people that question them because questions will eventually expose the fault, expose the error. There's nothing wrong with being wrong. There's nothing wrong with admitting and saying, I don't know, but these people are arrogant and they want you to believe that they are greater than what they really are. And for some of us who are low in the mud, those who refuse to use common sense, those who refuse to use reason and logic and rationale and do their own research, these type of people impress you and you view them as divine. So you have had divinity for all these years. What has divinity gotten you? What has trust in these people gotten you? They have gotten you the hell that we have and we live in today. We must be able to admit that we are wrong. We must be able to admit that we're not perfect. And some of y'all will say, I'm not perfect. But if you never say you are wrong, then you are saying that you are perfect and that makes you a liar and you are deceiving those who trust your voice. I suggest that all of us become leaders unto ourselves. And you can use a person as a spokesperson, but you should be a leader unto yourself. Think for yourself and question everything. Because if you don't, You'll be like the sheep. And that's why religion always refer to the masses of the people as sheep. Because sheep are easily led wherever the shepherd wants them to go. And they don't question nothing. The soldiers in the military right now are dropping bombs and killing people. And don't really know the reason why. They're just following orders. They are sheep under some government control. And that government usually is corrupt. So I just wanted to come before you because nobody's going to tell that lie on me that I believe I'm perfect. I am capable of error. But I use logic and our reason and common sense and some things just don't make sense. And if it don't make sense, then chances are it's not true. And you should check it out. You should question everybody. But you don't. You fall in love with personality and celebrity. And what is, and those religious beliefs and political beliefs that has been forced upon us ever since and before we was even born. You need to wake up, people. Because you got some rough times ahead. It's going to get worse before it gets better. That's the time period that we're living in. And even the religious people will agree upon that. That's why you need to get closer to God, they say. But God is here in your heart. Give yourself a chance. This is your brother, Talik Ibn Ra. Just wanted to holler at y'all. This was and is. Thank you. See you on Daily Motion. This was and is the Reality's Temple on earth. Whew, got through that one.